Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. In our editor, if you want to add multiple levels, or dungeons in your project, you may need the function of map creation. Launch the editor. You shall find a default map, map 001, in the game resources view. Click the back button on the left, and return to the map list to manage all the maps. We can add, and delete maps here. Let's take a look at how to add a new map. There are two ways to add new maps. One is to right click in the window, and you shall find a new button popping up. By clicking on this button, you can create a new map. The other is to directly click on the new button, at the bottom right to add a new map. If you want to delete a map, right click on the map you want to delete, a delete button will pop up. Click on the button to remove the map from our project. Note, once a map is deleted, all resources placed in the map will be deleted along the map and can no longer be restored. So please be careful when making deletions. After successfully creating the map, double click the map to start editing. Next, let's look at the properties of the map in detail. Clicking on a map in the game resources view, we can find a change in the properties view. There are two basic properties. Map name and the death boundary. Let's focus on what the death boundary stands for. If an entity's height exceeds the death boundary, the entity will take damage continuously until it dies. Both upper boundary and lower boundary are included in the settings. We can adjust the values of these boundaries here. Click run and check out the effects. The altitude of the player is currently 3. The altitude of the lower boundary is 2. Players start taking damage when their positions are underneath the lower boundary. The altitude of the higher boundary is 10. When players are above the upper boundary, they will also take consistent damage. In the properties view of a map, you can also adjust the style of skybox. A skybox is composed of 6 textures. Front, rear, left, right, top, and bottom. Let's replace a set of textures for the skybox. Click on Skybox Texture to enter select resource file. The editor comes with 3 sets of skybox resources. We replace the current set with the night one. At the bottom of the properties view, we can also set the skybox rotation speed. When we fill in a value other than zero in skybox rotation speed, the skybox will begin to rotate. If the value filled in is greater than zero, the skybox will rotate clockwise. If the value filled in is less than zero, it will rotate counterclockwise. Have a try yourself. All resources we place in the scene will be displayed in the world tree, such as entities, parts, terrains, etc. When more and more resources are added to the world tree, we need to archive and organize the resources for more efficient searching. Let's first create a folder. There are three ways to create a folder. The first is to click the New Folder button in bottom right corner of the Game Resources view. The second is to right click in the Game Resources view and select New Folder. The third is to hover the mouse on the map title Click the plus sign to the right, and then select New Folder option. Here we click the New Folder button at the bottom to create a folder, and name it Q. Then select Q parts and drag them into the folder. In this way, we can organize the Q parts, and collect them into one folder. Similarly, let's archive the entities and items as well. If you want to find a specific resource, you can enter the corresponding keywords in the search box. The world tree will display all resources matching the keyword. If the resource is inside a folder, 
Google World Tree will display the folder containing the resource. Click on the Unfold button on the left and you should see all the resources. If you want to adjust the location of resources or folders in the World Tree, you can also adjust by dragging. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.